Hey guys, welcome back to some more Football Manager 2020 and part 3 of the Bolton Wanderer. Today we take on Oxford United and Sunderland in the league. Uh, I'm Joe, if you're new around here, and hopefully you're looking forward to this episode. Thank you so much for all of the support so far on the series. It's good to be back in uh, creating Football Manager videos, and it's good that you guys are are enjoying it as well. For anyone asking, uh, Snooker 19 will be back at some point this weekend. Um, just gonna, you know, play the, this game while I'm really enjoying it, um, and and then we'll then we'll decide. But uh, no, since you were last with us, we have had uh, quite a few matches, and as you can see, not really much has gone right. <laughs> we beat Doncaster Rovers in the last match two one. Uh, it was a good performance. Um, in that game, we were, we were quite lucky, <coughs> to be honest uh, with you. <coughs> Apologies about that. Um, you know, we only had something like three shots, but we scored two of them and uh, came out with a 2-1 victory. We then went on to lose 2-1 to Ipswich. It was a bit of a shame. Joe Bunny had equalised uh, in the 78th minute and it looked like we were going to get a point, but Wolfenden scored in the 90th minute. We then uh, went 1-0 up against Gillingham as well, Daryl Murphy putting us ahead, but three second half goals for Gillingham, uh, putting an end to our hope there. We then beat Rochdale in the Leeson.com Trophy, uh, Will Buckley two goals in that match, very, very happy with that result. But then most recently we've went down 3-1 to Rotherham United. It wasn't a good performance. We were three 0 down, but Luke Dreyer scored a pretty good, a pretty good goal towards the end of the match. Uh, and all that means is that we are still at the bottom of the table. Of course, on minus nine points, we are now a uh, thirteen points adrift of safety. So <clears throat> it's going to be tough. It is going to be tough. Two matches today that are, we're not expected to win, but we are at home. So that is uh, at least one positive. Uh, about this episode. So they're in third and fourth respectively at the moment. Uh, we're playing Oxford first, I think. But um, yeah, it, it is it is going to be interesting to see how we can um, sort of come back in this match and, and hopefully respond after that really, really poor performance against Rotherham. So uh, I'll take you through the team selection in just a second. So we've got Ben Anik in goal. We've then got Adam Senior making his senior debut today. 17 years old. Um, he's actually a centre-back playing at right-back. We really don't have any depth there. Josh Emanuel is pretty tired as well. So, you know, I do worry about playing him too much there. I don't want him to get injured. We've got Brockbank and Wright uh, in the centre of defence with Chickson on the left-hand side. Bridcut is our anchor man with Ali Crawford and Jason Lowe in the middle of the park. Verlinden and Skalak will start behind Daryl Murphy up top. I think Skalak's a new boy uh, since you, you guys um, were here last. Uh... Oh, the, these say free, but they are just on trial. <laughs> You're getting excited with Gareth Barry there. He is in uh, at the club, but he's not um, signed permanently yet, and, and we're outside of the registration window. Uh, but if we can get him, we definitely will. He's a four-star player. You know, He's 38 now, but what a player he would be to bring in. But uh, Skalak has come in. I can't find where he is now on here. Jury Skalak. There he is. So he's coming on loan from uh, Millwall. Played uh, quite a bit in the championship the last few years. So hopefully should be a decent signing. But let's get into it. Let's see how we do against Oxford. It is, as I say, a game that we are not expected to win, uh, to say the least. So hopefully we can you know, prove people wrong. And if we can get another point or, or, or three on the board, that wouldn't, you know be complained about. Is that Ben Woodburn? Surely it's not Ben Woodburn. It is a player called Woodburn though. Now he has uh, Hall on the left hand side. He gets past Senior on his senior debut. Brannigan switches the player but it's out. I don't think it is Ben Wood. Oh it could be you know. Surely not. For Oxford. Crawford. Now Senior. Law. Now Chickson, 
Playing this nicely here. Chicks in. Come on. Now low. Back to uh, Brockbank. Gets it forward to Verlinden now. Verlinden. Verlinden keeps going. Oh, I thought that was going to be in, but uh, apparently not. This is Ben Woodburn. How on earth has he managed to, to be brought in on loan to Oxford? Surely that's an overpowered signing. Uh, I'm sure he was playing... Well, maybe he wasn't playing last season for for Liverpool, but uh, a couple of years ago he had five appearances, so he's a good player, you know, and he's going to be tough to uh, to hang on to today. Clicking on him was a bad idea, <laughs> but um, no, that was a wonderful run before by Verlinden, and it's just a bit disappointing that we didn't get uh, the final product there. Absolutely no goals so far, although there, there, there's a couple later down. Um, but certainly the the top matches there, there was no no goals whatsoever. Here's Crawford gets it wide now to Chicks Chickson. Here's Scalak Chickson again. Scalak, it's one nil. Jerry Scalak with the goal, first goal of the season. Chickson with the assist. And what a start. Well, 1 0 up here. And I think we've played quite nicely so far. Um, you know, Certainly better than than we'd hoped. And uh, what a finish there by Skalak. And 1 0. Very good. That's just the start that we wanted. So, 15 uh, or 10 minutes ago in, in this half. Oh, headed off the post and it's over the bar now. So got away with it slightly there. Five minutes to go until half time. It would be great if we could hang on right away. Now here's Cadden. Hansen. Hansen to Cadden. Hansen into the middle, header away. Baptiste. Moore. Now Brannigan. Hall. Hall again. Stattery. Now Baptiste, oh what a save, what a save from Anik there. Oh, ranked 15th in the Guardian, look at this, Coventry University. Uh, uh, <laughs> being advertised on the advertising boards, crazy. Right then, 1-0 at half time, let's uh, tell them to guard against complacency, but what a start, gotta say very very impressed here's Anik gets it away no oh, that's not good it's not good Sunderland go into the top two at the moment here's Ben Anik clears it away senior oh boots it forward here's Daryl Murphy oh what a save once again mmm corner Skalek into the middle Murphy down, Bridcut. Oh, bad tackle. Surely a bad tackle. Maybe he got the ball. So, 35 minutes left. I'm looking a little bit nervous. Show some passion, boys. Come on. Come on, we want more. So, 63 minutes gone. I think I'm going to bring Eddie Brown on, the guy that scored a hat trick in the reserves many weeks ago at this point. But, uh,. Who's, who's come on and, and done a, a done a job um, in the last couple of uh, matches. So we'll see how he does. Here's Chickson. Now Bridcut. Lau. Uh, Chickson. Brown. Oh, Skalak was there. But lost it. That's a good ball forward. Nice header down though. Here's Bridcut. Skalak. Crosses the player now to Buckley. Another one of the substitutes. Senior. Here's Bridcut. Oh, that's not good. That is not good. And now they're pushing forward. This is going to be the equaliser, isn't it? Oh, what a wasted chance that was. 25 minutes to go. Good ball forward. Skalax there. Now Skalak again. Here's Crawford. Crawford gets it forward to Buckley. No. Nope. Bit of a shame there, Hall pushing down the other end. Henry into the middle. Hall 
No, oh, what a save. What a save from Anik. It's going to be Brannigan into the middle. Header away by Brockbank. Now he has Thorne. Back to the keeper. Oh, I don't like this, though. We got a free kick. Hansen with the free kick. Oh, what a save from Anik. Oh, my word. I've still got a face of somebody from Coventry University on the side. <laughs> Here's Brannigan. Henry. Oh, it's away. We're hanging on for dear life here. Henry. Good tackle by Chickson. Oh, dear. 20 minutes to go. Senior's looking nervous. I wonder whether we should bring on Emmanuel for the last 20 minutes. Henry. Now Thorne. Brannigan. Thorne again. Brannigan. Thorne. Brannigan. Hansen. Brannigan. Uh, what a save from Anik. What a man he has been. Give that man a knighthood. Josh Emmanuel's going to come on now. But well played to Adam Senior on your senior debut. He did very well, sir. Very, very well indeed. 15 minutes to hang on here. What a remarkable result this would be. Brannigan switches the play. Emmanuel says, he's just come on. Oh, what a save again from Anik. Unbelievable. Well, here's Brannigan. Gets it in right away. He has um, no idea how to say his name. It's away. And offside. So, they have to build again. Chickson's had an amazing game. And look at this. Five minutes ago, didn't want to go on to very defensive. I think it's a bit early for that. But now that I've changed it, I don't want to change it back. What a goal that is from George Thorne. That makes the decision up for me. What a fantastic finish from George Thorne there. And what a shame. But, I mean, you, you can't, you know, argue against that. The distance. And Anik is, is only so good. He can't keep that one out, unfortunately. Um, let's get creative. Because we can still hang on to this draw. We can still win this match. You know, if we if we can get it forward. Find our form again. Header away. He has low. Low on the ball. Now Skalak. He has Chickson. Into the middle. Oh, Buckley was there. Oh. That was such a dangerous ball. And that's a terrible tackle. And it's a red card for Liam Bridcut. A two-footed lunge. And that's destroyed us a little bit. Buckley's going to have to move back, as is Skalak. Oh, dearie me. Come on, let's hang on to this point. We haven't got any substitutes now. Oh, I thought that was a penalty. I can't believe we've gone down to ten men. So irresponsibly as well. But it looks like we are going to hang on to the point and we'll definitely take that. We will definitely take it. Very well played uh, to the boys out there. Getting another point towards safety. It's going to be tough though. It's going to be tough to um, to get out of this mess. I mean, you can see that they're, they're expecting us to finish 23rd. <laughs> There's not much we can, we can do about that. Uh, unfortunately um, but yeah you know I'm quite happy with the draw there super sub Thorne he, he, he played brilliantly George Thorne uh, after he came on uh, Senior did very well uh, at, at right back so I'm quite happy about that Bridgecote not happy uh, about his two footed lunge but you know he'll be gone for the next match he'll be back for the one after that but uh, very disappointed that he got sent off, but happy to get a point out of that. So a couple of changes for this match against Sunderland then. Um, we've brought in Josh Emmanuel back for a full return. Joe Bunny comes in at left back as well. Luke Dreher drops back to defensive midfield. Luke Murphy comes in uh, in central midfield instead of um, the sent off Liam Bridcut. So yeah, it's not too bad. 
a squad. Obviously, we got the the draw against Oxford, so hopefully we can do something similar against uh, second place Sunderland. Obviously, they've got off to a good start of the season as well after uh, losing the first game of the season. The likes of Aidan McGeady in this squad, Grant Ledbetter. Um, you know, it's certainly a very different squad to a Sunderland from a few years ago. But they've got Ross McCormick. Um, they signed him on a free transfer. We tried to sign him, didn't want to come to us. And uh, Duncan Watmore in there as well. So uh, they've got some decent players, uh, Sunderland, and they're going to be favourites to go up this year. To be quite honest with you. So let's see how it goes. Hopefully we can play just as well as we did against Oxford. We were the underdogs against them and, and played really nicely. So and got the, the, the draw out of it, which yeah, I'm I'm delighted with. So hopefully we can go on now and and get ourselves a another uh point or three. That's a really poor pass so uh but you know we're gonna have to be at our best. And, uh, and and really good defensively as well. That's a ball over the top. It was slightly cleared, but here's Debock now to McGeuch to power, and it's over the bar. <sighs> Great save from uh, Ben Anik, who's had an amazing episode so far. Into the middle. Great save. Great save by Anik. Oh, I'm only five minutes in. Sunderland are already coming at us. Here's Lyndon Gooch. With the cross into the middle, Lynch is there and he heads it down towards Jordan Willis and it's 1-0 to Sunland. Sort of predictable to be honest with you. Set piece, lovely ball in from Lyndon Gooch, header down and Willis was there at the back post and it's a great finish. It really is. So 1-0 Sunland. well done to them. <laughs> oh. Show some passion out there, come on. Come on, Bolton. Our big problem is goals at the moment. If we can get a 30-goal-a-season striker up top, you, we might be able to do it, but we're just struggling creatively at the moment. Here's uh, Skalak. Now Luke Murphy. Oh, off the bar. And Murphy wasn't quick enough there to get the rebound, but that was interesting to say the least. Here's Verlinden now down this right hand side. He keeps it in. He keeps going Verlinden. Oh, Murphy was there but he has a manual. Back to Luke Murphy. Now Bunny and it's a great uh, block and out for a throw in. Oh, come on. Come on lads. 20 minutes in. We're fired up now and uh, starting to get into the game. Sunderland go top of the league as it stands. So you can sort of see why we're not uh, <laughs> why we're not beating them, but look at this. the The gap is getting bigger and bigger. Fifteen points adrift at this point. Um, you know we would be bottom of the table even if it wasn't for the the points deduction. So, you know that that's something we need to look at. Here's Emmanuel on the right hand side. What's he going to do? He passes it to Drea now. Back to Emmanuel. Back to Murphy. Murphy to Emmanuel into the middle. And that was half a chance there. Low. Spread it out wide. That's what we like to see. And now Skalek. Oh, again, frustrating. Very frustrating. You know, Wright is frustrated. And rightly so. Gooch into the middle. De oh, De Bock was there. Gooch again. Into the middle. Gets it to power. And De Bock shoots. It's a great save from Anik. Oh, now Sunland once again coming at us, Gooch into the middle header over the bar from Power. We haven't got enough support, really, have we? They're uninterested after the, the Phil Parkinson's shout. And we're going to go aggressive, we're going to show something else in the second half. Come on, good tackle. Here's Verlinden. Now Daryl Murphy back to Verlinden. Switches it wide to Skalak. That's just a terrible ball. Uh, I think we might have to think of something tactically. I think we're, we're playing alright, but we need to get more balls forward. Maybe two up top is the way to go, but we <laughs> don't really have enough strikers for that. Um, uh, just got to wait till January, I suppose. We need some sort of tycoon to take us over. 
and we're going to really struggle to get some um, get some funds in, get some signings because we've literally got about two grand to, to spend uh, on wages. <laughs> we haven't got anything to sign on, signing on uh, to pay for signing on fees, which is why we, we didn't get the likes of Gareth Barry. Eduardo as well, he was another one. Would have been nice to have those sort of players in. Here's Bunny into the middle. Valinden's there. Now Emmanuel, and that was a chance. It dropped nicely for him. Andrea's having a cracking game. 76 minutes gone. I think we are going to have to bring Daryl Murphy off. He's just not doing enough, uh, in my opinion, at the moment. Skalak's going to come off as well. We'll stick on Will Buckley. Um, oh, he's an inverted winger. That's that's what we like. And Politic can come on as well. Um, so, three attacking changes. Uh, I'll stick him as a DLF, actually. Eddie Brown. He can play anywhere uh, <laughs> as, a, as a striker, which is great. But we need to find what he's best at. Skalak now to Luke Murphy. A deep, deep line forward should work with this sort of formation because there isn't any attacking midfielder. A link the play. What a shot that was. Grazes the top of the crossbar. I'm going to go very attacking here. Uh, I think we're going to just start pumping both balls into the box now. Be more expressive. Uh, come on. How do we distribute over the, the defence? Take long kicks. Uh, yeah. Let's engage them a bit higher. Try and do a bit of gig and press towards the end of this game. Come on. Get creative. We can still get a draw out of this. Luke Murphy into the middle. Brock Bank is there. And it's one all. What a goal to get right at the end of the game. Harry Brockbank with the finish there. Luke Murphy was the one to uh, get it into the middle. And what a finish. And what an equaliser. And what a time to get it. Oh no. McGeady into the middle. Header down. No. It's side netting. That was too close. But I think we've actually been the better team today. You know, certainly since we conceded, we have been on the front foot since then. But it's going to be another point, which I think is a very positive day. Two points out of this episode against two of the teams that are in the top six. Probably going to be in and around the top six come the end of the season. And we've got two points out of them. And that's two points more than we thought we were going to get. So I think... We can be quietly positive about that. Um, we've got a very interesting uh, run of fixtures coming up. Uh, but if you if you look at this seven, you know, if we disregard the first four matches, look at these seven. We've won two, drawn two. All right, lost three. Let's not talk about that. But we've got points out of more games than we've not uh, in the last few matches. So it's it's a tough spell. Coming up, we've got Portsmouth, Blackpool, and we'll play Man United's under-23 team. And uh, I think we'll come back for the Burton, Albion, and Rochdale game. I think uh, away, away from home to Burton, that's going to be a really tough one. Burton have spent a couple of years in the championship the last few years, uh, so so we'll be up for it. Um, and then, and then Rochdale is the the team we beat in the Leeson.com trophy. So that is a massive game for us to to try and win. And they're also the team in nineteenth place. So they're a team in and around us. Uh, believe it or not, uh, we are Burton at the moment. They're twenty first. So that could be a bit of a a chance as well. Portsmouth and Blackpool. I'm not expecting much from those games. But Burton and Rochdale. Massive relegation six pointers. If you have enjoyed that, make sure you leave a like down below. It really does help me out. It means a lot to me as well. Subscribe to the channel for regular Football Manager 2020 content. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching and goodbye.